Well, with a stunning view like this, you gotta have a comfortable pack to speed up the process and help you go further. And so we're gonna be taking a look at two Mystery Ranch Cooley packs in the 25 liter and the 40 liter. Hey folks, welcome back to another video here at Gideon's Tactical. I'm Aaron, hiking out with Tommy the Trail Dog and my buddy Brian and enjoying a close up on Castle Peak. We've gone a lot further in than we normally do for one of my regular hikes. And uh, wow, is this view amazing. And this amazing view is a great kickoff to two, honestly guys, amazing backpacks that we're gonna be looking at today. Now you've seen the Scree 32. I love that pack. It's a 32 liter pack that really, it's the yoke system that Mystery Ranch does that just is mind boggling. There's some great aspects to that Scree. There are a few little drawbacks that we've touched on before. Well, we're looking at the exact same yoke system, but we're looking at two different size and kind of differently laid out packs with this Cooley, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, uh, series and they have this in a 25 liter version and a 40 liter version that we're going to completely break down today that 40 liter version could possibly be a good ultralight backpacking or heavy duty day hiking uh, type of a pack and then this 25 liter that i'm wearing today would be either possibly a good lightweight edc bag you could use it possibly for mountain biking or day hiking. And we're gonna break all that down and take a look at it compared to the Scree pack that I've loved for the last few years as well. And all right guys, so let's go ahead and get to it. Now I wanna to touch real briefly on the Scree 32 and we'll come back to it at the end of this video just to show you where the Cooley 25 and 40 fit in between this model because this is a 32 liter pack now i originally went out purchased the uh, older version of this design a few years ago fell in love with the yoke system and then got a new one sent to me from uh, mystery ranch when they updated a few little features and we did a review on that last year and uh, for the last two years now it has been my go-to medium to large size day pack when i know i'm going to go several miles in i'm not just going for a quick little you know jaunt into the woods i'm going miles and miles and i need something uh, that is going to be able to bear the load well we took this on a 17 trip over the continental divide and this was the pack that i took with me and it's because of this yoke system and we're going to see this exact same yoke system on the two cooley models now we have here the cooley 40 and we'll go through some of the details here but i really do want to just hit the yoke because it really comes down to that out of Kelties, Ospreys, uh, Mountain Smith, even VanQuest, many different brands that are out there. They all have good load bearing capability, but I have yet to find one that can carry the load in such a way that I forget that the backpack is on, even with say 20, 30 pounds of loadout, which I do many times with all my camera gear, survival equipment, and other things I'm testing out. And so what makes this so amazing is that the, the contouring is fantastic. There's micro adjustments to pull, um, and this will be the same, this is the 40 again, this will be the same on the 25 and on the scree uh, and you, so you can pull the load up onto your person it's going to have adjustable sternum straps that will go down low enough to where i like them right over my um, breastbone um, chest bone and then they uh they have this adjustable sleeve basically that's completely rigid here that will slide up and down inside this track and it makes for amazing adjustability. So it can be a micro adjustment, it's not even a ladder portion. And because it's kind of lipped on top of each other, there's no hot spots. There's never a gap. There's never a point where you feel like it's putting pressure on your shoulders or on your back in any way. And then the waist belts themselves also bear the load very well. So the way that they've designed this is just awesome. Uh, and Mystery Ranch has several videos on how you can do that as well as a really good detailed uh, instruction guide on every single pack when it comes to you on how to micro adjust i'm not going to go into all the details we take five minutes just to do it um, but it just works so well you can see there the the panel and this is a rigid panel with a piece of polymer in there so that just makes the pack uh all three of these packs and really uh the top of the line for me if you were to ask me what is the most comfortable series of packs that i have ever tested and i'm saying that in all confidence because of all the gear and different levels of equipment and companies that i've tried over the years it's going to be these mystery ranches with their i believe uh i'm annotating it now i think it's like the futura roke yoke the futura yoke i believe is what it's called 
Now, before we move on from the whole carrying system, the yoke and all that, I'll just touch on a few other um, details. You can completely remove the sternum strap if you wish. Uh, if you wanted to carry it in a certain way or it was getting in the way of other equipment that you may have on, you can completely remove the waist belt as well. So you can maybe even do this as like a travel on carry bag uh, and leave the belt and the sternum strap at home or just leave the belt at home if you're doing more quick treks, but you're also traveling in and out of airports and you know going in, in that capacity. So the, the, the waist belt is completely removable. They have YKK zippers on the pockets and they have very large pockets on both sides, both zipped up, which is phenomenal so that you can put larger gear items, including a lot of size cell phones, um, snacks, those type of things. And they're going to be really accessible. I hate it when backpacks have really tiny micro pockets that basically can barely handle a cliff bar. These have very generous waist belt pockets, pull towards you adjustment, and it will carry a very significant load up to 50 pounds. Now, part of that load bearing capability on the 40 is that it has two composite stays inside the main body that help with support so that you can carry those heavier loads with this backpack. And with that 40 liter size, that's what really I feel like this is a good hybrid, either if you're really good at packing ultralight and you're an ultralight backpacker and you're not going for an extended period of time, or maybe you're in environments where you don't need really dense, heavy sleeping bags, and maybe you're just using a tarp or very light lightweight one or two man tent, you should be able to get away with this backpack as long as you are good at cutting down on weight and you don't need a lot of extra um, equipment with you with the 40 liters. And part of that is done not only with its accessibility, which is great with Mystery Ranch's classic Y opening design. So you can get to the entire bag and it has some good expandability there. And this is just going to be a main dump pocket. Uh, and then it does have a water bladder sleeve with ambidextrous water bladder hose ports on there. Um, so you could definitely get, again, a few changes of clothes, some food, a cook set, um, a stove, you know, and then depending again on the size of your sleeping bag, possibly a sleeping bag. Uh, and then you could also do on the outside your small tent or compact shelter, like a tarp in some of these large expandable stuff sacks. So imagine like a 48 ounce Nalgene can easily fit in here with even a little extra space. So if maybe you could break your tent in two or different things like that, uh, you could shove those in there and then you still have your secondary water bottle pockets that can easily handle 32 ounce Nalgene's or canteens. Uh, and you're gonna have dueling compression straps to not only cinch down loads if you don't have this fully stuffed out um, or fully expand when you're wanting to stuff it all out, but you can also use this to compress tripods, which for me as a videographer, YouTuber, is fantastic, but also maybe skis, cross country skis, things like that. You could lash to the side of this, or even say a, a hunting rifle, depending on the size and you know scope that you're going with. You might even be able to put that you know inside the size of this pocket here and strap it down. Um, that is a possibility as well. It will come with a lot of other options like shot cord and loops, you know, to do trekking poles and those type of things. We'll get two lid pockets, a larger one that you can get several uh, quick access items, and then a smaller one as well. Those will be. Um, water resistant coated YKK zippers on both. So that's great that you have a dueling um, organization on top. And again, what really sets it apart on top of the yoke system are these two extra stash pockets. They're just so large. You could put shoes in them. You could put, um, you know, a, a exterior clothing, things like that. And really for me, helps me on days when I'm carrying a lot of equipment. I got a full size camera gear. Maybe I got a drone. I've got other equipment that I'm testing, you know, things like that. I can easily stuff this completely out. So if those of you who are maybe videographers and you go and do outdoor um, photography or videography, things like that, this would be a great option because it'll carry that load so well, but give you a lot of capacity to carry that um, bigger, bulkier equipment. Or again, if you're good at you know stripping down for ba overnight backpacking, you'd be able to do that. So those two pockets really give a level versatility to the Cooley design that the Scree 32 doesn't offer. That Scree, though very good and has side water bottle pouches, has nothing on that back panel aside from some daisy chaining loops that you could attach a few small gear items on, but there's a lot of space there that could be utilized that the Cooley series does utilize and give you extra capacity to carry different gear items. Now, no gear item is perfect. And the one critique that I have with Mystery Rants packs, mostly in general, is that there's no lashing options whatsoever on the bottom of these packs. And this would be a great place, again, for versatility to possibly do a tarp, um, jacket, or a small tent that you could strap to the bottom if this did have 
um, compression straps and or you know molly compatibility possibly loops on the bottom like the daisy chain we saw on the scree um, that would give me more versatility on the bottom as it stands right now it does not offer anything like that in 2020 for the current designs of the coolie series one of the other great things with this entire yoke and mystery ranch series regardless if it's the scree or these coolies that we're looking at today is that they have different sizes and because of that adjustability it fits even very large torso heights and lengths and all the way down to pretty small so on the men's side uh, the small to medium will go 15 to 20 inches of adjustability on your torso height uh, and then on the large extra large 17 to 24 inches on your torso height that is very impressive and very few backpacks will do that particularly in these smaller size ranges you have to forgive some of the background noise regardless of planes kids or dogs uh, i do test in the outdoors but i live in suburbia so got to do uh got to do what you got to do when you're a um, full-time dad and part-time youtuber and have another job so um anyways i apologize if you do hear background noise from animals or kids and stuff got the boys playing in the backyard so um with that guys also just to touch on what's really cool is that they will also give you a couple color combinations but they also have women's cut versions as well so those will be in the links for you which is a really good big plus um so that it just contours better to the female form and to the female body now, one thing with Mystery Ranch, it's extremely ergonomic, very well built, but you're going to pay for it. This usually goes for about $230, and we'll have links for you guys below over to Mystery Ranch website, as well as Backcountry, Amazon, all those links for you below. Now, sometimes you can find them on sale, different prices, you know, a few times a year they'll, they'll drop, and that's uh, how I bought my first Mystery Ranch uh, pack, and so uh, you can always do that, but for that price, you are getting a really well built, super ergonomic, the most comfortable pack series I've ever used use and I've used a lot um, but you're gonna pay for it so you just have to ask yourself how often am I really using my pack if it's a daily or weekly occurrence then it might be worth investing in if it's a couple times a year maybe there's better ways to spend your money or just sit and wait for a sale to come by because for me guys I just want to give you data and info on these designs and why they connect with me and why I love them for me it doesn't matter whether or not you pick them up I just want to give you the info so you can make a wise choice now mystery ranch did send this pack over to me to test out review carry and use to give you guys feedback pros and cons so you can make a wise choice on whether or not the 40 Cooley is worth purchasing and throwing in your regular outdoor adventure rotation now to the Cooley 25 now what's really cool is first off you won't have to break the bank quite as much to get the 25 liter this guy comes in at about 170 dollars on average they have more color combinations than they will in the 40 and they do have again those men and women's sizes and cuts uh, to help accommodate the the different body shapes that men and women have so that's awesome and that's great and you will you won't have to spend quite as much if you're looking at the 40 and you're going yeah it's a little too big for a day pack for me but it's too small for like an overnight backpacking pack but you're looking for that um, versatility of a day pack then I believe that's really where this Cooley 25 liter pack comes in because you're going to get that same style yoke system that Futura yoke that they have it has it's going to have the same sizing which is awesome most day packs they maybe go to 20 inches of, on the torso length which I'm usually at about 21 so they don't quite fit me right I can kind of force it and it's okay but it's never fully ergonomic and that's why I fell in love with the Scree and in the same case with this 25 liter uh, Cooley and I have the large to extra large this again will go from 15 to 20 on the small to medium and then from 17 to 24 on the extra large which is super awesome and makes it very ergonomic for a compact day pack of that 25 liters it's going to have all of the exact same yoke features that we talked about the belt will be a little bit thinner but still giving you a lot of support the pockets are kind of like what I was talking about these are pretty micro pockets I'm not a big fan of them they can barely fit a cliff bar in them uh, so you could put you know that type of level of stuff maybe a pocket knife a compass maybe a small gps in here but that's about it it's not going to fit any size cell phone and even larger like meal size um like pro bars won't even fit inside these little waist pockets so that's a little bit of a downer would have liked those just be a little bit larger now the great thing again sternum strap is completely removable as well as the waist strap which means that for me i could carry this and have 
taking this to the office as an everyday carry bag. Now it won't have a ton of compact organization for like your pens and pencils and you know maybe a charger. It's just going to be you know that same style of kind of an open dump backpack. But if you're looking for um, cutting down on the amount of packs that you have in your collection and you want to use this for going out for a day hike. Uh, hiking the front range, you know, in the, the Rocky Mountains, uh, maybe mountain biking, those type of things. It has the capability to do that, but then take it into the office Monday through Friday to take your computer and some of your equipment, your water bottle, you know, maybe your own iPad, whatever it is, books you're reading, and do that during the week. So it has that versatility and cross capability that I really like because, again, you can completely remove all the harnesses except for the shoulder straps. Now, the 25 will have a generous dump pocket up top, but only one. Again, coated uh, so to help with water resistance. It's going to have those same materials that we talked about. It's going to have their, again, iconic Y zipper set up to open up the compartment. And you can get a lot of equipment inside this 25 liter backpack. It's pretty expandable in that way, which is a really good thing. Again, it's going to have that bladder um, uh, sleeve right there so you can carry your bladder. It does have a rigid frame, but it doesn't have those stays like the other model does because, again, it's a smaller, more compact series. So there's no other organization inside the main compartment. But again, what makes this even more versatile than some of the other 25 liters, and it, I would argue even my 35 liter or through my 32 liter Scree are the water bottle and gear pockets. It's going to have those two water bottle pockets on either side, but it's going to have those same design big stash pockets on the front. So you can stash large jets jackets, coats, you can do all kinds of different things, extra water, whatever it may be in the front area right here. And so it gives it even an extra level of versatility in that it can basically compete with my Scree 32 because of those two extra pockets. And I can get jackets that maybe I would have to stuff inside the Scree because there's no other really place to lash it. I can now stuff on the exterior to not only get quicker access, but it expands the versatility of the backpack, which is super cool. It's still going to give you dueling compression straps so again you could do trekking poles tripods uh, again for me as a videographer if i'm doing a, a hike that is going to go further but i don't need to carry quite as much equipment with me that's a great option or skis or things like that if you're again if you're doing cross country i think this would be a great like a ski resort or cross country skiing backpack snowshoeing those type of things it would have a lot of versatility in that way as well as it has shock cord portions for your other attachments you know that you would want to do and loops on the bottom again no attachments on the bottom there which is a little bit of a downer we we'll just give you other lashing point options but it basically has been able to carry very similar lows to my Scree 32, but being a slightly more compact setup. And so guys, in conclusion, I gotta say that the Cooley series is phenomenal, just depending on what size that you're looking for. And it really gives you a lot of options now. If you need something kind of in the middle, you still have the Scree 32. If you just need a more dedicated uh, day pack that's gonna be so organic on your back, but also have a lot of capacity, then you've got the 25 liter. And then if you want something that's either ultralight for backpacking uh, and pretty compact, or you're wanting something that's very large for your day treks, you have that availability now in the 40 liter. So now having all three, I don't know how much use this year the Scree 32 is going to get. We'll find out, and by no means is it a bad pack. It's a phenomenal pack and kind of in the middle range and has some great features. But the Cooley now, because of the different sizing that it has in the 25 and 40, really might eliminate my need in my use of a 32 liter pack like the Scree. So uh, I appreciate you guys coming over. Again, check out all the links that we have for you guys below. We appreciate it when you use those hyperlinks. And uh, we just invite you also to subscribe if you're not a current subscriber, check out the other video popping up, follow us along on Facebook and Instagram, throwing up content there all the time. And finally guys, always remember, enjoy the trail and stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.